Hello, third grade. This is Miss Smith. Welcome to our fairy tale unit. Okay, so Miss Jaffe for reading did an introduction to fairy tales, and you had to list a few elements that you noticed. And for writing, Miss Villa read Cinderella, and you have to fill out story element chart. And that's what I'm going to help you set up today. There are three ways you can fill in the fairy tale chart. You can take a screenshot and fill it in on your iPad or computer. You can print it out, fill it in, and take a picture and hand it in to your teacher. Or you can draw the chart in your notebook, fill it in, take a picture, and send it to your teacher. There's three different ways you can hand this in. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to draw the chart in my notebook so I could show you how to do that. And I'm a teacher. I love making my own charts. So I'm going to do that with you today. So what I'm going to need first is I'm going to need some paper. You can go right into your notebooks and go to a clean page. OK, here I am. So when we look at the chart, well, first I have to write my heading. So I'm going to write PS 160. I'm going to write my name. I'm going to write the date. And the date is. And my class is three dash whatever your class top you're going to write fairy tales like so okay then what I want you to do is I want you to leave some space over here start from the red line leave some space and I want you to over here the story we're going to read today is Cinderella okay tomorrow you're going to read Prince Cinders so you write Prince cinders okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to need to make a line on the page to separate the different story elements so I don't have a ruler so I'm going to use a book that I have so I'm going to make a line here right before Cinderella and right over here just like that does that have to be perfect and then I'm gonna make a line over here to separate Cinderella from Prince Cinders Then I'm going to list the story elements over here. I'm not going to write um, the characters on the same line as Cinderella. I'm going to write characters uh, a line down from where it says Cinderella. So Cinderella, go down one line, and then over here you write characters. Great. And then you could leave one, two, three, four spaces. Then write the next element, which is setting. Then leave another four spaces, one, two, three, four, and then write problem. And then another four spaces, one, two, three, four, and you're going to write solution. Okay? Then you're going to go down another four lines, one, two, three, four, and you're going to write fairy tale elements. Okay. So the next thing you have to do is just separate all the story elements, character setting, problem solution. So what you're going to do is write on top of where it says the word for the story element over here, you're going to use that the edge of your book and you're going to make a line as straight as you can all the way across same thing for setting you can go across and then you're going to do the same thing you go down to problem right on top of problem you're going to make a line right across and I'm going to move up the paper so you can see a little better when you get to solution just make a line across the top 
all the way across. See, our chart's coming together. And then on the bottom where it says fairy tale elements, you can just make a line across the top of that also, okay? So this is how we can make the chart in our notebook. And what you're gonna do is you're going to listen to Cinderella. You write down the characters here. You'll write the setting over here. Then you're gonna write the problem in Cinderella, and then you write the solution. And you're gonna hold on to this paper, and then tomorrow when you read Prince Cinders, you're gonna fill out the same thing, same fairy tale story elements for that. Okay, I hope this helped. Have a great day. Bye-bye.